Rockton residents, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. It's Friday, uh, March 27th, and I wanted to come before you as I've been doing on a regular basis to give some updates on what we're doing here in the city of Rockton dealing with the COVID-19, the coronavirus, the health epidemic uh, that's crippling uh, the world, quite honestly. Here in the city of Brockton, we're taking the precautions. We're adhering to all guidelines that have been set by the governor, as well as the additional um, guidelines that I set here in the local jurisdiction of the city of Brockton. Of course, playgrounds are closed. Schools now have been extended uh, to be closed until May 4th. I'm working on a daily basis with the superintendent of schools, Mike Thomas. We did a video just the other day. Uh, just today, though, Governor Baker uh, has declared anybody traveling into the Commonwealth of Massachusetts must self-isolate for 14 days, any travelers coming in. Um, in terms of, I'm getting calls on what we can do for small businesses here in the city of Brockton. One thing that I'm doing as the mayor, I'm having regular conversations with the Chamber of Commerce, the Downtown Business Association, local businesses as well. There should be um, some state and federal funding that will be coming down. Uh, we just don't know. That's not defined yet. Uh, but rest assured, I'm going to always work for the small businesses and the businesses that make up the city of Brockton. It's a really challenging time right now financially. I understand that. Um, I've been going around the city talking to the small businesses that are doing the takeout food and the like. Um, there are some questions on why certain businesses are still open, such as liquor stores. Uh, the governor has declared that as an essential business. Um, I will tell you this, uh, John McGarry, who is the health officer for the Board of Health, and his staff, his team, are working every single day to make sure that the businesses that are not essential are being adhered to and not open. Again, we're taking these precautions out of abundance of, of health and safety protocols. I am charged to protect the safety of all citizens that live and work in the city of Brockton, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's uncharted territory. I had a prayer session just this morning with about 12 clergy here in the city of Brockton, different pastors and reverends, and we're all searching for answers. We don't have a time frame when this will finally be over, but I know this. Um, we will get through this. We're not going to panic. We just have to stay the course, but we do have to practice what we're being told social distancing of six feet, at least six feet. It's a requirement, it really is. Uh, washing your hands for no less than 20 seconds on a regular basis. Uh, disinfecting the hard surfaces, not shaking hands. Um, one other thing that I, I wanna say again, and I say this with all due respect, um, you need to stay in and around your homes. Um, now is the time to be with your family, your loved ones, your guardians. Of course, you could go outside to get some fresh air on a beautiful day like this. I encourage that. But again, the only way we're going to slow down this pandemic and eventually get past it is to really listen to what the healthcare professionals are saying. Um, I'm really concerned, of course, about the senior population in Brockton and our homeless population in Brockton. I have calls with all of the healthcare professionals three times a week, have I said, I've said this, including the CEO of Mainspring Father Bills. I'm also working with our rest homes, our nursing homes, our assisted care, adult daycare facilities. Um, you know, the senior population at the Brocken Housing Authority, I've had numerous conversations with the executive director, Tom Tebow, just requested the other day that we disinfect a better solution uh, at the Campello high rise and all the high rises and low rises. Uh, and Tom's people did that um, and they're gonna continue to do that. Um, all I can say is this, um, now is a very challenging, uh, unknown time. Um, we're going to get through this together. The key word is working together, making sure that you check out for your neighbors and your seniors that live in your neighborhood. Um, you know, we are working with the different agencies here in Brockton, um, Catholic Charities and all the other agencies, Charity Guild. Um, there's just so many uh, people willing to give uh, resources and time. Uh, but I want to take a quick moment and first of all thank the City Council and the School Committee that have been working in a collaborative approach with myself and Superintendent of Schools, Mike Thomas. And as you know, Mike is, is, is a great leader, a great public servant, and um, we're talking uh, about what next steps are. And of course, we need to find out um, from the state, um, from the Department of Education about the MCAS, and we're waiting to hear that if it's going to be waived this year. We don't know that yet, but we're kind of on a wait and see approach on that. But um, we're giving out the, the, the lunch program, the breakfast program. I want to thank everybody that's volunteering and spending time to do that. It's making a difference and you should be commended. And I, wanna, I just really want to thank everybody uh, that is coming together as a community. That's why we're the City of Champions. Someone said to me the other day, wow, what a lousy time to be mayor of the City of Brockton. And I said, no, it's not. 
um, it's, it's actually a great time because I'm really realizing how wonderful the citizens of the city of Brock and during tough times, we come together as one. And uh, again, I just wanted to give you these regular updates. I thank you for your patience, for your support, for your friendship, for your guidance. And I mean that. And again, all I can say is um, we just have to stay the course. We have to do what we're prescribed to do right now with health and safety and general welfare practices. Uh, I'm going to continue to come before you to give updates. Of course, check out the city website. It's in multiple languages. We do regular updates from the governor, from the lieutenant governor, uh, from the school department. Check out the website on the Brockton Public Schools as well. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call. The mayor's office is open every single day, uh, 508-580-7123. City Hall is closed to the general public. I made that declaration. Um, it is closed, but if you need to make an appointment, just give us a call again, 508-580-7123. Uh, and I'm working with our city department heads and school department heads to stay the course and make sure that when we do get out of this, this uh, health crisis, you know, we're going to be able to, uh, to move forward in such a positive manner. So again, I'm wishing you uh, and your family a wonderful weekend. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. Um, take advantage again, stay around the confines of your property um, and stay safe. And I'll be back in touch soon. Thank you.